Hey everybody. Hey, I wanted to come up with a reminder and my goodness, it's amazing how the Lord prompts you to do this. When you see your electronics and your phone and your TV just start going wacky all at one time, it was like a, a light bulb went off and I went, oh, the CMEs. I gotta get out there and remind everybody about it. So, and a whole lot more has happened since. So let me share. Remember the other day I came out with the video about the two big, huge, earth-facing CMEs on the 11th and the 12th, right? And then many of you even confirmed that the Lord had shared with you uh, things about the 11th and a word about the 11th and a word about the 12th. And the ones that had the word about the 12th seemed to be in the UK. So I'm like, this is mind-blowing. It's like that would absolutely confirm um, what's happening, right? Now, don't forget, these things can, you know, affect our communications, our phones. Already, my my TV's going bananas, turning off and on by itself. My phone here is doing its own thing when it wants to and make sure that things are charged up as, you know, we could be losing power with the CMEs. I'm not talking about the storm right now. I'm talking about the CMEs. Um, and also I'm thinking, my goodness, you know, the weapons of mass destruction that they're using are all done by satellite and Mm, they could get the wrong signal. Who knows, right? We don't know, but we're covered by the blood of Jesus, right? And we're in Jesus, so, and we believe on Jesus, so he's got this. Um, I do know, as far as uh, what's going on over there right now, is that, well, President Trump has enforced sanctions on Iran and then turned around and, and offered them peace. <laughs> so... Okay, that's a double-minded man unstable in all of his ways was the first scripture that popped in my brain. And we see fighting on the Syrian border, Iraqi border, and Iran border. And it doesn't matter what's happening because Israel is going to go in. As far as prophecy is concerned, it says that Iran strikes Israel. Israel annihilates Iran. And, of course, with the help of everybody else, and we see that President Trump has moved the troops out of Iraq, out of harm's way, um, but they're not being sent home, okay? They're just being strategically moved somewhere else. So let me get into this really quick because then I have to run. All right, so this is what I call, well, it's called the WAP. It's the weather app. It's one of the best out there. If you have a local Fox station in your area, you can also download this on your phone. It's probably one of the best that I've ever had. And I'll share why I'm like in the blue dot. <laughs> what I love about this is it shows everything. And oh my goodness, well, I don't know where all the lightning strikes went, but we'll see what happens in a minute. Things are changing so fast on this. Um, my goodness, look, it shows, well, let's put it in motion. Let's see what happens. What's crazy about this is, of course, Amarillo, um, up in the panhandle, always seems to get the snow and the ice, and that's what the blue is. And don't forget, this is Texas. They're just not used to this stuff down here, and they don't know how to drive on it. So while all this rain coming in, we have flash floods because the ground does not absorb the water, and people try to drive through high water and get in trouble. But then again, with all our bridges and overpasses and the dry ice because of the cars and everything down here, this is all going to freeze overnight and it's going to make a mess for tomorrow. But it shows uh, this and it shows that even Kansas, Oklahoma City, uh, you're getting it too. There you are, Brother Chad. We're seeing you're getting hit too. And then we see the purple as we go farther north, um, even in Iowa. In Wisconsin, Milwaukee, looks like you're right on the edge of snow and ice and rain as well as this there. So I know it'll be a treat for you while you're on vacation up there and you know who you are. 
And this looks like uh, Michigan's going to be getting a lot of rain as well. And some snow and ice, depending on all this other stuff, right? I love this, this app because it goes everywhere. You can see where the weather is all over the world. Pretty much, actually. So that's what's happening. But then if we look at our hourly here, that's what I was talking about. And it says by 5 o'clock we'll be having the strong storms. That's 70 degrees. Okay, this has changed just in the few minutes that I've talked to you. And all the lightning strikes are gone too that we've already been having. <laughs> okay, it disappeared right off the page. All right, um, strong storms, scattered storms. All right, and now they're changing it just a little bit. Okay, it's all the way up until tonight. And then we see that after midnight here, the temperatures start dropping. And then by tomorrow morning, we see that we're in the 30s. And low 30s by 8 a.m. Wow. So that's going to cause a lot of ice on the overpasses and a lot of problems out there. I don't think any of this will turn to snow because it won't be raining. It just says cloudy at this point. So it doesn't say anything about snow, but there's sure going to be a lot of ice on the road um, because of the rain that's been going on, right? So as we see the interactive map, and well, again, it changes, right? <laughs> no, let's get back to Texas. All right, there was a whole bunch of lightning strikes on here a few minutes ago when I did my first video, and now they all disappeared. <laughs> it looked like Zorro was on my screen. Crazy. Crazy. So anyways, yeah, and there was a lot of lightning, and Maddie's my little fur kid that lets us know that. So the grocery store that I need to go to is only 10 minutes away from me. I have very little food in the house and absolutely no water. So I definitely will be having to head out like really soon, <laughs> within the next 15 minutes uh, to be able to get there and back in time to be safe and off the road while before any of this stuff comes in, all right? So I just wanted to come out and remind you about it. Please make sure you do have food, water, and everything else, your candles, your flashlights, your... Um, your phone, everything charged up. If you have anything, you know, that you have up as a backup, just, just in case. I'm not saying that this is a disaster situation. I'm just saying it's a dangerous situation. And not just because of our weather. I'm talking about the CMEs. This is all over the world. Um, that it could affect power outages. And like I said, I'm concerned about these missiles that they already have targeted and programmed um well cmes could mess them up as well but we've got jesus we believe on jesus we're in jesus and and he's in control of all things in heaven and in earth <laughs> i know that we are going home very very soon brothers and sisters i have no doubt about it in my mind and in my heart things are warp speed ahead right so as we watch and wait for Titus 2.13 to part those clouds, I just wanted to remind you about the CMEs, what's going on, and, well, that can cover in Texas. <laughs> Tornadoes, every time I think of them, I just think Elijah. I'm clicking my heels, we're going home. Brothers and sisters, keep looking up. Our king, Shirley, is coming. This is Debbie from Texas saying peace out. And Maranatha.